I'm Lo and this is my wearable cream contouring tutorial also with a glowy Kimmy K look alongside with it. If you want to see how we do this keep watching this is my lovely model Claire and my assistant Bulu. He's a bit huffy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be using the Limac Pro contour palette. I'm using shades 128 and V4. This is just a little face shape brush from Zoeva. I'm going to take it from as if you're coming from the top of the ear down into the cheekbone. If you're not sure where to draw it, because some people you can draw too far down or too far up, if you push in, you'll be able to feel where your cheekbone is in there. That's where it should be, not too far down, and just buff it in a little. You don't need to do all the crazy, insane stripes that you see on Instagram. It doesn't have to be that harsh. And you don't have to contour that in so many places. On all these pictures on Instagram, they've got stripes all over the place. That's actually like an aging technique in special effects makeup. You don't want to look old. Yeah. <laughs> you want your face to look contoured and shaped, but you want it to look, you know, plump and youthful. You don't want to be sculpting in here, sculpting in here, sculpting in here. You're going to make yourself look really harsh. You still want to look soft and blue. And you're going to bring it down here and along the jawline. Let's see how I'm just using a tiny bit. That's the thing with those pictures as well, like it looks great on pictures and that heavy contouring can be great for photography but for like walking around day to day it's going to look so harsh and so obvious to everyone whereas you want it to, to really blend in. And I mean this all comes from like the Kim Kardashian trend doesn't it, of what we yeah. saw on Kim and if you look at Kim's, Kim doesn't have big heavy stripes on her face, no. Kim's looks very soft and blended and that's you know how it's supposed to look. It's not supposed to be big, harsh, straight lines. And you're going to bring it just buffing around the forehead. Just where you naturally have shade to your face and where you want to bring it in. Obviously, if you're trying to make things look smaller, you're going to bring it darker. And the highlights of the, the high points of the face are where you're going to make it lighter and lift it up. And honestly, the, the thing that everyone's copying this, this stripey thing from is um, a Kevin O'Quarren book. Um, also made a part of many years ago. Yeah. I've actually got the book somewhere. I should show. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get it. I'm going to show. I'm going to show. Mm -hmm. So this is the kind of thing where it's all originating from, which Kevin really here was just showing you where the light and shade needs to be. And even yeah. you can see from his, he's only contoured down the cheeks, the head and the sides of the nose. It's not every crevice of the face because it's just going to look harsh and obviously she looks fabulous after. But yeah, I think people that are really copying this and going overboard with it where you need to make it wearable. Wearable contouring. We don't look like we're wearing a mask. So we're going to do the same on the other side. On the top of the ear. And you're just buffing it into the cheekbone. You don't want to draw it too far down. That's going to drag the face down. You want, a ha you want the cheekbone to look high up. Don't do your contour too low. Claire so just has a dinky forehead, so it's obviously not applying. And that's not putting too much on her forehead. Just so that it's got a bit of shade, a bit of colour. But obviously if you've, if you've got quite a big forehead, um, you can bring the contour quite far down and it's going to make your, your forehead look smaller. <laughs> so the whole point of contouring the nose is to make it look either like slimmer width ways or shorter. So what you don't want to do is is just kind of dust in randomly the shape or make it too wide. If I just contour Claire's nose here, I'm going to make it look wider. You want to bring it right down from the inside of the brow. And go like a perfect little line. And push it into the brow as well. But as well, you want to make sure that you don't make this line like go out to be here or go down and then come out at the bottom because that's going to you know move the shape of the nose the whole point of this is to make the nose look straighter so no matter the shape of the nose you're going to come down in a straight line like that and then if you're wanting to make the nose look shorter you're just going to bring it up from the bottom of the nose like that 
I'm just going to brush off any excess on the brush and then put it back in. So she's got a shadow, but it's not a super harsh line. I think that's what a lot of people struggle with the contour. If you buff your contour in too much, it's going to look like there's nothing there at all. But if you don't buff enough, you're going to have stripes. So it's just practicing and seeing what looks right, like how far you need to buff. It just takes a bit of practice. Other, only other places I would really contour on the face is around the lips, if you want the lips to look a bit plumper. So you can do a little bit of shading in here. The bigger your bottom lip is, the bigger shadow you're going to have here. And then if you wanted to really like pronounce this Cupid's bow, can you just do this, Kat? <laughs> I like that face. I like it. If you just put a little bit of this little dip in here, it just gives you an extra little bit of shadow there. Obviously, you don't need the proper stripe, but you just going to look like you have a little moustache and a goatee. Mm -hmm. It just needs to be a really subtle shadow. I'm now using the colour CI from the palette, which is just quite a light yellowy tone. Some people can go really overboard with the highlighting part of this. You literally want the tiniest bit on your brush and you're just going to slightly lighten the skin. You're not going to pack on. People tend. In these pictures and videos, people seem to pack on all of this highlight under here. That's going to look so heavy in person. All you need is the tiniest amount on your brush and you're just lifting the colour of the skin. I've literally used the tiniest amount and you can see how much lighter that looks. So I think also when doing this under the eye, you don't just want to highlight under the eye like that because it's going to make you look like you've got some sort of kind of puffy bag under your eye. You don't want to just highlight under the eye. You have to bring it down in a triangle so this whole area is lifted so that it's not just a little eye bag. A little bit right down the centre of the nose. A little into the centre of the forehead. You can bring it a little bit onto the chin. Even if you feel like making this bit really light, did this bit look dark? You can bring a little bit down here. Some people even do it right under where you've done the contour, but I think that's a little too harsh. Yeah. It's if you want to make it really OTT. So I'm just going to set all that. I'm using Mac Pro Longwear powder. <laughs> I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Powder in medium tan. I've got this colour all over it colours natural skin tone and where we've done the contour. Bring it up a little bit of that highlight, but we're going to use a little bit of a lighter powder under the eyes just so that it still keeps that brightness. When you're doing all this cream contour and you do really need to set it in place, unless you've got really dry skin. You know it's going to be kind of moving about and sludgy. I wouldn't recommend a lot of cream contouring if you've got really oily skin. I'd stick to powder contouring, which yeah, I'm going to do another video on. And I'm using a bit of the same powder in medium plus. Look like I'm just patting this in under the eyes. So I'm just bringing that powder just through the centre of our face to make sure that that's all staying a bit lighter than the rest. So once you've set all of that, I always tend to go over it just a little bit with a powder contour. So this is MAC Sculpting Powder in Shade Stir. I'm just using that with a little sheer cheek, is it sheer cheek? Yeah. This is a little sheer cheek brush from Zoeva. So I'm just going to follow where that was before, but I'm just actually putting a little bit more colour back in now we've powdered that all down. And that is basically it on cream contouring. If you want to see how we did that full glam Kim K look from the start of the video, then click the link in the drop down box below. If not, I hope you've enjoyed this video anyway. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more of my videos. Thank you. Bye.